Hey everybody, part six of our outdoor kitchen build. Today we're gonna to make the landing for our pizza oven. We're gonna build up the chimney a little bit and we're gonna make an arch under the oven for some wood storage. I have a situation here which is a little more complicated than it would be probably for most people. See, I didn't have enough room to push my oven back so that we had some of this concrete here to build my landing for my pizza oven. So my plan is to build this out a little bit, put an arch here, but the arch will be further out. That way I can build up on it and then eventually have a platform where I could put granite or brick or stone uh, to finish off my oven landing. I cut a couple of pieces of wood that are the, roughly the same size as our brick. Um, and the reason I did that is because I want to find uh, the exact location on the floor as this piece is positioned up top because I'm going to have about a four inch overhang and I want to make sure that when I start working off the floor that when I make it to this point I can meet the brick in the same exact location here. Now to do that I'm going to use what's called a plumb bob and you just hang it over the edge of your wood and you wait till it stops moving and that gives you the exact location vertically as the piece on the top to your floor. Change of plan. If you thought that this project was well thought out and planned, I am totally winging this. I was gonna use brick to build this, but I decided that it would be easier to use some cinder block, which I had laying around, so I'm gonna do that. Um, I'm cutting these on an angle like this. Uh, it just so, so happens I can get away with cutting them exactly in half so I can get two pieces out of one. Um, and I'm gonna stack them. And when I get to this height here or so, I'm going to make an arch somewhere around here. We'll figure it out when we get there uh, with the bricks. And I think it's a little cool. So let's move forward and see what happens. I can't fit this thing completely through on my wet saw. So I'm going to start it there and I'm going to use my grinder to finish cutting it. And that's pretty dusty. So make sure if you're going to use that tool that you definitely wear a mask and wear some eye protection. I'm dry fitting my arch to see if it's going to work. If you remember, I used this up top when I made the outer arch and I repurposed it. I just added, I needed a little bit more width, so I added a couple pieces on each side. I think it's going to work. Uh, this is the keystone. Uh, I have one for up top also that matches, so I think it's going to look pretty good. Uh, let's, I leveled it off already. Let's just see if, uh, if this thing is going to work. Uh, hopefully it does. Just like when we were working with fire brick, you want to soak uh, this red brick as well. Uh, the idea is that when you're joining stone or brick or whatever material it is with mortar, the slower the mortar dries, the stronger the bond. If you're using dry materials, uh, it's going to absorb the moisture out of the mortar quicker and the mortar will not be as, uh, as strong of a bond as it should be. I bought a whole bunch of old brick because I think it looks nicer, has more of a rustic feel. But uh, whatever you're going to do, if you're going to use old brick or something used, make sure you buy enough of it the first time around because if you decide that you need more a month later, uh, you may go back to that place where you bought it and they may not have the same exact brick anymore and now you won't, you'll have a problem matching it up. Uh, I bought 300 of these bricks and I think they'll be enough for what I want to do with this entire kitchen.
Let's take a break for a second. I'm going to explain exactly what I'm doing. So our landing is going to be made out of granite. The granite is, a, uh, is an inch and a quarter thick, which means I have to have enough space for the inch and a quarter granite plus the concrete underneath that's going to hold it in place permanently. Unfortunately, I had to shave these down just a little bit so that way I would have that space that I would need to be able to install the granite top properly. I don't have the granite top yet because I want to put these in place then I want to get a good measurement so it's perfect and I can order it and I know it'll be the right fit. The next step of this build is to build up the chimney a little bit higher. That way I can get a good fit for this cap here. This is going to allow me to connect my chimney later on. Uh, so I'm going to start cutting up some bricks and hopefully I can get a good fit. I got to raise it up probably about eight, nine inches. I lost some video footage um, at this point, so this curved piece is really just going to help me create that first layer for the chimney so that I can level it off because it's technically curved right now. A few days ago, I ordered a piece of granite. It's an inch and a quarter thick, and this is going to be our landing. But before we can actually install this, the back side of it is a little bit too smooth. So we are going to scuff it up with this angle grinder, and hopefully that way the concrete will, will adhere to it a little bit better. This arch for up top is really just for, for a decorative touch. The way I did the bottom, I'm really just gonna copy that, that method and just do the same exact thing up top, just that the one up top here is gonna be uh, wider, so there's gonna be a lot more bricks being used. But generally, it's the same idea. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Uh, there are other parts of this build coming. If you are not subscribed, please do that and hit the bell icon. That way you will find out when I do post those new videos. I am also on Instagram and I keep posting pictures of all the progress on this way before I uh, put out the video. So if you'd like to follow me there, you can check that out. Uh, it's in the description below. Um, and again, like always, I hope everybody's healthy and safe and I will see you in the next one.